Namdi Kanu reveals conditions to reconcile with FG. Hello great viewers, welcome to my news compound. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Matsi Namdi Kanu, has revealed conditions to achieve true reconciliation in Nigeria, Niger News reports that Kanu's position was made public by his younger brother, Prince Emmanuel, after a recent visit to the IPOB leader. According to the pro-Biafra activists, to achieve true reconciliation, the federal government must set up an international airport, seaport, and roads in the southeast. Namdi Kanu stated that this will bring the long-abandoned zone on par with other regions. While insisting that he was not opposed to genuine restructuring, the IPOB leader said Nigeria should be restructured along the 1963 constitution if proponents of restructuring are sincere. Kanu, who is still in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, said his position on the Nigeria project had not changed. He blamed those who aborted his meeting with Igbo leaders scheduled for September 15, 2017, in Enugu for the current chaos in the southeast. Namdi Kanu argued that if his house had not been invaded a day before the meeting, perhaps the meeting would have addressed the issues fueling the agitation for Biafra. Meanwhile, a member of the House of Representatives for Umwahia North slash Umwahia South slash Ikwano Federal Constituency of Abia State, Obi Agwocha, has slammed the immediate past president, Muhammadu Buhari, over the option of eliminating Namdi Kanu. Nija News learned that Buhari's thoughts about the option of eliminating Namdi Kanu were conveyed in a new book written by his former aide, Femi Adesina. In the book, Adesina said there was an option of eliminating Kanu, stating that bringing Kanu back to face trial in Nigeria was a favor. In response, Agwocha, in a statement made available to journalists in Abuja on Monday, said the remarks by Buhari regarding Kanu's handling are deeply concerning. The lawmaker said that suggesting that the elimination of a citizen was an option, even in retrospect, is alarming and raises serious questions about the commitment to the rule of law and human rights. He called on Buhari to come out clean and confess all he did to Namdi Kanu and the Southeast while in office. Thank you so much for watching. Mama Nancy. To start with, without wasting your time, Namdi Kanu has said this. Consecutively, this was actually what he told the so-called Igbo leaders to go to Abuja to bring to him. But they were busy trying to bribe him. Buhari government, including those who are now ruling this country, call it Yoruba man, call it whatever it is you want to call it, are in the same page. The same atrocities that Buhari government committed against Hindi and the Southeast as a whole is the same thing that this government is doing today. We may have some criminals, criminals like Wikis, who are coming from Southeast, who are coming from Eastern part of the country. It doesn't matter what you say, you can call it Sasa or whatever you like, call it. But we all know that all those people, people that I'm mentioning here are all ebooks. All this gentleman needed was a good environment for his people to accept. Instead of pushing them out from their land to Lagos, pushing them out from their land to Abuja, where after every investment, one useless governor like Sam Wolu will come out and start burning them down with talks. When you find that the people are beginning to notice him, he came out clean, start bulldozing their houses. This is exactly what Mazen Namdekano was trying to avoid. The atrocities of Flanit Trolls, created by Mietiala, who was bent in destroying Southeast by sending men with AK 47 to grab land because so many people paid him including Saudi Arabia they paid him to make sure he grabbed the land of indigenous people and these leaders you see today including the ones that we are talking about right now apart and parcel of it they know what is happening in Nigeria 
they know everything happening in Nigeria today. They will tell you today that they are doing everything possible to stop flying terrorists. But all these things are lies. Have you ever even seen them talk about flying terrorists? They will continue to talk about Bukhara, Bukhara, Bukhara. What about flying terrorists created by Mieti Allah? This is because some people believe that they are above others. Some people feel that they can do everything and go through with it. That is just it. We must put the things the way it is. This actually was the same thing he told them to do. Go to Abuja. Tell that thing in Asorok. To allow you to build support. In eastern part of the country. To allow you to get international port where people will fly from their land straight to Europe, not to fly into Lagos or fly into Abuja. For Christ's sake, what wrong did he say that brought or warranted terrorists recruited the military uniform to come to his house to kill him? I am not one of those who miss around with where I said it the way it is. That is why some people don't like me. Including some of my viewers. The truth must be told. I hate it when people beat around the bush. I hate it when people try to deceive others. When they know that what they are doing, no headway. Nam the Kano is a man who God has anointed for this struggle. All he asked, all he requested for is just international port, sea port, good environment for his people to excel. That was after they continued disturbing about us fighting for our freedom. A place, a restructured country, the same thing that Ojuku when Aboria aborted to negotiate. But what they did was to send people to come and kill him. I look at them. When they claim that they want him to face the law, he has been facing the law. And every time he faced the law, the law continued to disappoint him. Because we have now judiciary that has no head. We have judiciary in Nigeria that is criminalized by the so-called leaders who call themselves leaders. I see them as killers from pit of hell. Tribus, Buharis. A man was set free by a court of law. They got not to keep him. The same thing they did from 2015 to 2017 before he was set free. Finally. With both God's condition. Nam the Khan is not a bad person. Some of Nigerian youth who believe that Nam the Khan is actually against them are dumb. When you are living in a country where some group of people are doing everything possible to Islamize or Islamize that country, the best thing for you is to call for out. Since those youth who are part of the country, refuse to do the right thing, refuse to call their leaders to order. Rather, they always push blame game. And for this reason, now the car does not want to blame anybody. All he needed to do, let my people go. Pharaoh, let my people go. It's a very simple thing. He was not talking about arm. He was not trying to fight anybody with arm. Not that you cannot do it and stand by stand without any shaking. These days, it's not about war. If something is going wrong, go after the leaders and deal with them. There is a way to deal with them. Even the wicked who are making noise every day after killing so many freedom fighters. The truth is to get rid of wicked is a very simple thing. It's not a threat. It's a fact. Now he has said again, they should visit that same particular thing he said several years ago, according to his brother. 
Why can't Eastern Region have support? An international port. Why should we stop in Europe alone? What the hell is that? What the fuck is Europe alone? And what the fuck is Fulani land? That we should stop because we want to travel to Europe. I don't have too much to say. I think I've come to the end of this news. We are still watching. 